Hello, my children. Welcome back to the challenge. Your boy Thomas Sazbrain. Before we get started, subscribe for more life on support. And let's get into the gamage. We are here with choices again on the channel. Now, well, I'm a little laggy. Blah, 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 blah. Ah. I'm like, my, my capture is like kind of late, whatever. But, um, <clears throat> accidente was made again. Sorry. I don't think it. No, I didn't make an accident on this. Uh, I don't think I made an accident on this playthrough yet, but this is my first time making an accident on this one. I accidentally deleted. My, all my fault, I accidentally deleted the previous episode that I recorded to free up some space for something else. I think it was like a different game I wanted to download. But, I kind of messed up. Sorry about that. But it's fine. Uh, where we left off, we were on a flight to Peru. And we're going to... We, we had to get out of town for, for something. Right? Uh, oh, I think it was... Oh, Dolores had gave us... I think her name was Dolores. She had gave us um, tickets to go to Peru so we can get out of the, the city. And we met up with this taxi driver... And there was somebody, like, she went to go drop us off at our hotel, but there was somebody suspicious waiting for the hotel, and we knew that it was somebody that was gonna, that was, that was gonna kill us. That was gonna kill us. Uh-huh. Blah, blah, blah. That was gonna kill us. So the taxi driver invited us back to her house, and now she wants to feed us, uh, these, uh, leaf things or something. Hopefully they're not gonna kill us, but let's get it. Uh, this is Dolores, I think. Uh, I mean, not Dolores, but the lady, the taxi driver. He's like, ah, what I, I gave her, like, a country accent, I think. He's like, ah, they're just, they're just something to take the edge off. Harmless. Most travel blogs actually recommend eating them. One was it? Uh, what was it? What was it? I once read. Oh, chew like Incas. Okay, cool. Let's get it. It's gonna go faster. Ah, they're just some. Oh, whoops! I just read that. The taste was bitter, but she was right. I was already feeling a little less lightheaded. All right, let's get back into it, y'all. I made a mental note to buy my own bag at the soonest convenience. Mental note. <laughs> Most places will sell the tea, too, she told me, indicating the tea cabbie sitting on her bench. That one. <laughs> uh, if you're interested in anti Rami, what is that? In anti Rami, Rami, whatever, Rami, <laughs> uh, there, there'll be plenty of places you'll find, uh, that can help you out. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Moody vibrated on my wrist. Bzz, bzz. What, what a noise did I give her? I was like, dee, 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 or something. The Kim Possible or something. It seems she is correct about coca leaves, teacher. All right, let's get it. I remember all the accents. Just be sure not to take them with you. Take them back with you, because they're, yeah. The tea is legal, however. Because I, I can't bring back stuff. So what's the what's So what's your deal, Sharon? Her name is Sharon. What is N.T. Rami? Uh, what is N.T. Rami? I can ask her what's her deal later. I don't think anything's wrong with her. She's nice. <sighs> the ticket stuff again. Uh, let's watch an ad for three tickets, guys. If I could edit, I would. If I really could. Let's uh, turn it down. What is this? War of something crap? I hate it. Hate it. Oh, and I do. This lighting is really good. There we go. My capture got better. Ah. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't need to see the tongue action. <laughs> ah. Where the X at? Let's get it. Let me claim my three tickets. Boy. Uh, um, let's close that. Uh, so what you do, Sharon? What, what is N.T. Rami? That's what I, Rami or Rami. I don't know. Sharon stood and walked over to a tiny bookshelf in the corner of the kitchen, grabbing what looked like a children's book and bringing it back. N.T. Rami was apparently the biggest festival in the Ekan calendar. Some in can something about their ruler being related to the sun gods or that kind of thing. What? I flipped through the I flipped through the pages of what was indeed a children's picture book. I was never she bringing me children the sources. <laughs> it was in Spanish, so I couldn't read it. But as, but as with most kid kid books, the pictures told me most of the story. Oh snap! Let's get it. Somehow it lasted many hundreds of years. She continued, even after the Ekans were no more. Uh, I stopped at a particular page depicting the Ekan ruler trying to convince the sun to return to them. And the sun went away. Foreshadowing? I don't know. Uh, I, stopped at the, I stopped at a particular page depicting the Ekan. Oh, I'll get you about that. This would have taken place during the winter solstice when the sun would seem more distant in the sky. <laughs> uh, if, the, if this is what they did when they thought the sun was wandering away, what did they do? 
when there was an eclipse, Ash Sheeran, oh, I asked that, what are they doing there's an eclipse, Ash Sheeran, looking up at, up to her, I would have been, uh, she shrugged, I'm the wrong person to ask, I just know the modern story, what's the modern story, nigga, those boom boxes, nigga, that was, brrr, man, the sun went away, I'm playing, that was a lame joke, uh -huh. there's an old historian across the way who knows more about things, but talking to him is a bit odd, he, bit, brrr, 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 brrr. he, he raps, <laughs> He only knows the quitch, uh, the native language in rough Spanish. Oh, snap. He better. Google Translate with Modi. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I flicked through a few more pages, a few more pages before uh, settling once again. And the same page that had caught my eye earlier. It was an impossible coincidence that I was here just before the Ikan Festival of the Sun. That had to be why I was sent here. By Jesus. But for what purpose? By Jesus. Surely it was all super superstitions and myths. I've never seen that word superstitions in, like, room before. Uh, Sharon sat across from me, smiling pleasantly. My flight or flight... <laughs> my flight or fright... My flight or fight instinct was still in effect, and I was cautious about letting her know too much. You right, that's, that's a good thing. On the other hand, I did need some kind of translator. I did need some kind of translator to meet the, uh, the historian, and she was obviously comfortable with the culture in the area. In the area. Okay. Blah, blah. I I'd like to meet the historian... And I can find my own way with a few directions. Would you care to come with me as a translator? Uh, it's hard one. Uh, I can find my own way. No, no, no. I want her to come with me, just in case. I might be using like a human shield or something. She's not that important to me. Like, for be so honest, like, if I get this historian to tell him what I want him to tell him, tell me, then she's really useless. I'm just thinking far ahead. I'm horrible. She rubbed her hands together, collecting her bag of coca leaves and standing. All right, grab what you need. I'll be out front warming up the car. She's a bit old these days. And with that, she left the room. I rubbed my eyes while the coca leaves helped that, uh, with altitude sickness and sleep restored my batteries. I felt like I was a step behind and a dollar short. What does that mean? It only took a moment to grab my bag from the spare room to meet with Sharon in the car. Why did I make that sound all ominous? She gave me a tooth-filled grin. I I jumped into the passenger side and we peeled off the streets of Cusco. And all around us, the city was getting ready for the festival. Oh, okay. <laughs> the John Cena theme song. Lights were being hung in the main streets. People in traditional dresses were swarming amongst the tours. Uh, trying to earn the Peruvian sol, the local currency. Money, money, money. Thudded amongst everything else were the depictions of sun gods, Ikan royal family, and strangely, Lamas, Carl Weezer. That girl is a real Carl Weezer. Y'all seen that? <laughs> I typed on Modi's face. Modi, what's the what's the Lamas place within the festival of the E10 Rami? Beep, 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 beep. Before Modi could reply, Sharon piped up from beside me. Hey, I want Modi to say, nigga. Oh, they used to sacrifice them back in the day. Oh, packs of them, selected from the brown coloring. She smiled pleasantly as we wound through the streets with ease. I wouldn't smile. That's weird. Like they sacrifice whole llamas. Whole llamas are awesome. They spit, but they're 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 like they're like baby trash. Actually, teacher, a gathering of llamas is referred to as a herd, but otherwise, Miss Sharon is correct. Oh God, you 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 angry? You jealous? Sharon ain't gonna. I promise, Sharon's not gonna take me. I promise. I promise. I had Modi's and I had Modi's uh petulance. The programmers did a good job of creating human motion. That's not good. No, I'm playing. I assume they don't do this anymore. I assume they don't do this anymore. Sharon nodded. They still make a show of it, but they're really only symbols. Puppets, I think. Uh burp. Nightmare it's cool. I couldn't get that close to the uh, I ain't, I couldn't get that close to the year I went. The crowds were crazy. I'm actually surprised no one wanted to actually kill some some of the beasts this year. After all, that nonsense with the sun god thing. I don't know. <clears throat> sort of. Uh, I raised my eyebrows in surprise. The rock, the rock said, "Oh, it's crazy nonsense." The f you talking about? My life had been consumed with hows and whys on the incident, and a taxi driver dismissed it as nonsense. <laughs> she slowed at the set of lights and almost as if on cue. Um, I, I can't read. <laughs> a man laid on a brown llama across the intersection. Sharon watched it casually. Just, you look like some good eating. Maybe I was wrong. 
Does Australian culture have any lore about sun gods? Can you explain? Oh, she was Australian. I think she's an Australian. Uh, I kind of get the accent kind of right, but kind of wrong. Can you explain more about Spanish EK and Belizean cultures? Does Australian culture have... I don't care about Australia right at the moment. <sighs> she shook her head, brushing away my show, my, brushing away my question. Uh, nigga, I want to answer. It would be better to ask the old geezer when we get there. I've only been here a few years, and I'm the most academ academically advanced person around. I was impressed that I got Spanish under my belt. <laughs> Exactly. I, I don't even have them in my belt. I have it, like, in my pocket, but it's, like, gonna fly out. It's, like, windy outside. It's gonna, like, slap in my pocket and no more Spanish. I know a couple of words, but not a lot. Uh, <laughs> I saw it. Setting back and... I said... Setting... Settling back! Sitting and settling. <laughs> Setting... Settling back into my seat. Waiting on... out, Waiting out the ride. Sharon seat content to ride in silence. So I let it go. Let it go! You know, y'all knew it was gonna happen. Sorry, but I can't see right now. I don't mean to alarm you, mate, but it seemed that we're being followed. Friends of yours? We're being old. We're being followed. Friends of mine? Nah, nigga, I came here alone. Before I could turn, turn and look at the SUV, suddenly slammed into the back of Sharon's taxi, skidding us forward several feet. Fuck! It's the bad guys. I braced myself against the console just in time. My Sharon wasn't so lucky. Oh, snap. She poof, right to the bloody hell! <laughs> right to an English accent all of a sudden. She took the wheel and started screech as she turned, as she took off again. It's Godzilla! What just happened? I think I clicked it too many times. As we raced, oh, I mean, God, <clears throat> as we raced, as we, are we, blah, blah, blah. as we raced away towards the end of the street, the next set of lights turned orange. The traffic on either side inched closer. There was a tiny side street on the right, barely big enough for Sharon's car to fit. Her eyes flicked between the two options and gripped the steering wheel tightly. Turn down the side street, shoot through the red light. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, shoot through the red light or turn down the side streets. It's only, it's only orange, alright? Um, and it, the traffic's gonna end up stopping them, and if we turn on the street, it may be a dead end, so I don't know. Shoot down the red light. Y'all know. It is what it is. Fuck! We got 12 minutes. You wanna watch ad? I was watching ad. Watch ad for three tickets. I don't know why I'm just staring at it. Oh my gosh, they put ads in the worst places. Clap it up for my, uh, my, uh, my narrating skills. That was like, I got your hype. I was like, <gasps> what's gonna happen next? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the Lord. Thank you. I don't even know what that game was. The like, Crush the lips. I said not crush just like really lined up. Let's claim them tickets. And let's close this. Shoot to the red light. Let's get it. <laughs> Sharon gunned the engine and we sped to the red light. Our bumper inches away from cars passing behind us. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> she let out a lady yell, laughing wickedly. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. I'm actually dying. Uh, let's outrun him, eh, mate? <sighs> that, that chunky bugger has to wait for the next light. Set of light. See, I knew it. Cackling maniac. <clears throat> maniacally defying. Definitely, definitely zooming in and out of traffic. I remember I got asthma, so I can't be doing much like that. That hidden stuff. What are you vibrating on my wrist? Dee, 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 dee. What? Teacher, these might be the same people who killed Professor Soul and broke into Miss Montague's house. Duh! You, you think uh, I would advise against allowing them to capture you. Mom was gonna be like, alright, niggas. I'm ready. Take me. Like, come on, Modi. Thank you, Modi. I remember that. Idiot. Sharon cackled again, again approaching the two, the, the street which forked in, I, which forked in two directions. I guess she's like, really, I, I heard adrenaline kicked in, which, ah! you know, she hadn't been in that situation before, but she, like, she was like an action movie or something. If we were, uh, who said, if we were to turn left, we'll head towards the industrial uh, district, there will be less people that way, but more places to hide. Um, right. Uh, we'll take a, right, we'll take us to the outer suburbs, towards the old geezer. Towards the old geezer, they might catch up to us, but we'll be closer to our destination. Sharon looks for me for a record. So, left, 
uh, there'll be less people that way. One more places to hide. Right will take us out of suburbs toward the old geezer. I can't just. I shouldn't look at me for a vacation. These two choices. I made the first good choice, so I, I gotta trust my gut. My gut. Y'all probably be saying, oh, go left, go left. But I think I wanna go right. Because I don't wanna have to, like. Um, right will take us to the outer suburbs toward the old geezer. They might catch catch up to us, but we'll be closer to our destination. I don't want to hide. I just want to keep on going. So we're going to turn right. Turn right to the outskirts. I want to turn right. I'm going to turn right. If you want to go left, we'll just see how this plays out. All right? Play your own time. Sharon skated around the road like a devil. Obviously talented, but also enjoying the rush. Just ah! hit that. Yeah, I'll be rushed too. Glenn in her eyes betrayed how much she enjoyed the, the danger. She's from Australia. She fight kangaroos. I craned my head around the try, uh, around to try and catch the side of the SUV behind us. It was still within eyesight, but Sharon created a large gap with each passing moment. Oh, crap. Okay, that's good. I hope to inform. I have to inform you that Miss Sharon is breaking several road rules right now. You want to drive, nigga? Dot not. Ordinarily, I would inform the authorities, but I can but I can understand if you do not want me to. However, this is making me highly anxious. Nigga, you're a watch. Shut up. You're getting really annoying. <laughs> I braced myself against the floor uh, the, the floor of the car with my feet. I actually agree with Modi. After we made a few more changes in direction, I turned around again. It's just like, I agree with Modi. But at the same time, we're being chased by niggas that want to kill me. Like, you would think that she wouldn't really care. Uh, I can see them again. I shouted and oh, I can see them again. I shouted and Sharon whooped, uh, fist pumping the air. <laughs> whoop whoop! Look, you know, I guess she's like the the hero. So I might want to keep her. I might want to keep Sharon as a getaway driver. She twitched the wheel suddenly and threw us in uh, the car and park uh, of an old hall, uh, tucking tucking us out of sight behind a building, then cutting the engine. Let's get it. Sharon smacked the wheel and said, "Scratch she just." That's how you do it. I think that'll do it. I almost got close. I don't reckon they could have followed us uh, through all that. That was a hoop. She grinned wildly. <laughs> like, sure, chill, bro, chill. I smiled myself. The adrenaline and relief making me feel elated. Just... Baby, baby, They know Miss Sharon's car now, teacher. Oh, we gotta ban the car. There's a chance that they might be able to find us again. You're right. I didn't even think about that. I suggest that they be cautious. They be ca you be cautious in how you proceed. Uh, you you good. You right. As much as Modi was right, I also knew that if people were following me, then it would it wouldn't be long before they found the historian. Time was not on my side. Sharon was still twirling beside me, cheeks rosy. You ready to head over to the old geezer's house or what? Does Cusco have a public library that could that I could utilize just until I know it's safe to proceed? Sharon raised her eyebrows. Uh, well, sure. But I thought you were in a hurry. I chewed it over. <laughs> oh, crap. What does that mean? Go to the public library or head directly to the store. I'm trying to go to the store. What do you mean? I ain't going to no library. Forget that. And then I come in there, start shooting, busting. Uh, Sharon pulled up beside the store house, putting the car into park. I'm afraid it doesn't matter if you want me a me along or not, mate. I'm not about to sit out in the open just waiting. So you about to leave me, or what? I hesitated, but I shrugged off my in indecision. Uh, she had just experienced a car chase because of me and hadn't left me to fend for myself yet. Uh, yeah, she, she could have just got on, like, you're crazy, I'm out of here. And I could have drove. T uh, together, we walked to the old Ekan style house and knocked on the door. Oh, she's coming in with me. Okay, what's his name again? I asked Sharon Wadey. What's his name? Well, what's his name again? Uh, she turned to me and smiled. You'll have to ask him. I, I can't pronounce it. Nigga, but I can't speak the language. <laughs> this one. The door swung open. Elderly man in traditional Peruvian dress opened the door, chattering away in a strange dialect of Spanish. Spanglish. Sharon talked back in a fluent, rolling tone. I bit back my envy. I'd never been too good at learning, uh, learning languages. Let me take my phone real quick. What do we got? Uh, uh, two messages from eight home. Uh, I bit back my envy. I never used again, learning languages. After a short discussion, the old man waved uh, <coughs> waved us into the home, and we followed him through to a back room. Uh oh, 
Did, 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 did. Teacher, there's a software update <coughs> available for me. May I update? How long is it going to take? Uh, a software update? The f*** you mean? Um, she, is she updating Google Play? What's in the update, Modi? I looked away from the instrument and whispered, Oh, what's in the update, Modi? Did, 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 did. The ability to connect to local wireless networks. Wi-Fi? Not, no, it's not a good time, Modi. Uh, sure, let's do it. Uh, uh why not? It's already gonna mess me up in the long run. 20 minutes, that's a good, that's a good place to set off, actually. For while she connects to Wi-Fi, or something crap. But, uh, sorry for the missing episode. My bad. But, uh, shoot. It got heated up, 20 minute episode, crap, man. Uh, so we're in the historian's house, so we'll see what that is up to next episode. Uh, phew, this is definitely going up today. Let's get it, uh, let's get it. Uh, 100 subscriber thing, that is coming up, don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it, that's a big milestone, alright. And, uh, and, yeah, let's get it. Uh, so before you go, subscribe for more Life on Sport, and I will see you guys soon. <coughs> Salutations, my children, love you all. Peace.